Welcome back, folks. It's been a while. Honestly, it, it, it's kind of been a while. You know, it, it's been a while around here. It, it's it's actually been a while. Timothy G. Yeah. This is Rudy. I like Modern Horizons. Yeah, a lot of people did. A lot of people did. A lot of people did, folks. And I think Modern Horizons is going to age well. Yeah, a lot of people agree with that. A lot of people agree with that. So today, folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Timmy. You're watching Tim G's Investments. And you know, God, it's still one of the most beautiful magic packaging pieces of art ever, man. Absolutely amazing the way they did that packaging. I'm telling you guys. You know? All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a little revisit. <coughs> been a while we're gonna kind of check this out we haven't really cracked modern horizons in ages man when this thing came out dude we did so many box openings and it was one of the most enjoyed followed box opening series i think i ever did next to like ultimate masters it was ridiculous folks starting off ah the guile miss kaya and um a lot of people are betting pretty heavy this is gonna age really well folks i'll be honest with you right up front a lot of people really think and including myself i'm not gonna downplay it um, I don't know about these art tokens. And here we go, folks. We got our first foil rare bizarre trade mage that is flipping disappointing. Altar of Dementia. There you go. Um, I just want to comment. A lot of people really think there's some big stuff coming with this product. No joke, though. This, this set seriously has probably one of the highest expectations for the future, and I'm one of them. This was just a really good product with a lot of... Oh! <laughs> this is exactly my point. $45 rare are you flipping kidding me i cannot believe the price of this thing is holding anyways it just and by the way i don't know if we've pulled one yet i haven't looked um we have not the talismans in the uncommon slot are like two bucks a pop but again i wouldn't be too excited about something like that because that is definitely a reprint target ladies and gentlemen and of course the uh, Modern Horizons land cycle, solid, almost 10 bucks a pop on these things. Amazing. And there we talk about, these are the talismans I was talking about. Um, I remember a lot of stores talking to me about that one of the reasons they loved cracking Modern Horizons was they were selling play sets of talismans for like $7 a play set for uncommons. And I was like, really? I was like, well, that's kind of a big win for mass box openers and secondary market. But of course, be aware, cards like that, Wizards will, you know, secret lair and reprint those bad boys like crazy. Accomplice. So, you know, again, there's a lot of just, there's a lot of interesting mechanics going on and moving parts when it comes to a product like this. And I think it's going to continue to really help it age very, very well. Sorry, I got my foil pal here. I was trying to keep them in order here. And um, open market price for this box is right now, um, I think ugh, they were below 200 for a long time, the last year maybe. And now I know recently they've finally been on the move quite a bit. And by the way, all the sliver themes, always a very uh, very positive thing. Set historically with a bunch of sliver cards in the common uncommon. Uh, tend to age actually very, very well. And Glacial, and here we go. Force of the Olvago. Very, very nice little couple dollar rare. That just said, and by the way, if you look at the quantity of rares in this set, what's fascinating and what I always prefer for stores and anyone cracking packs is pro Ooh, Ranger, Captain of Rudy the Hawk on the Shoulder. Very nice for our very first Mythic. Um, sets like this that have tons of rares and value, uncommon slops of value. A lot of the Mythics have value. Sorry, recovering her. There we go. And, you know, it tends to age a lot better. There's a lot of... Because what happens is, when you have 30 cards of value versus 3 cards of value, the, the set's a lot more protected and diversified for the future. And, of course, Wizards reprint animal... The, the way they reprint things. Does that make sense? Because if you have all your money in Dragon's Maze and all your money's in, uh, I don't know, Voice of Resurgence, and they reprint that one card to Oblivion, Dragon's Maze has no real opportunity to really make a comeback. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you have a set like this that has like 30, 40 cards that have value over two, three dollars, now it's like, okay, well, even if they reprint most of the cards, it's going to be really difficult to keep the value down. And that's what that's what I'm refer that's what I'm referring to, folks. And, of course, we're seeing a lot of uh, Squirrel Nest. you got the little Mariner. You've seen a bunch of, uh, well, I like to call little cards, little couple dollar stuff. But they add up, if you're, especially if you're opening up a lot of product. And there is our foil snow-covered land. You don't always get one of those in uh, each box. Crashing Foothills for a swing and a miss. And there is another Talisman there in the Uncommon slot. It's just interesting. Even, even this product, you know, this thing is out of print. The box prices are pretty strong. And I, I'll be the very first one to tell you all, I personally believe I got a $300 price. By the way, generous gift, good uh, uncommon. And 
And by the way, the old unicorn, good uncommon again. I'll be the first one to tell you guys, I kept a very large position in this particular product. And uh, even at the end, when they did last call and all of a sudden they disappeared, yeah, I'll give you a hint who was involved with that. Um, you know, it's just because I believe in the product. It is one of the better products I've seen in quite a long time. And I think time is going to kind of uh, reveal what the, the reality is. I Right now, I have a price target on this box of literally $300 a booster box in 12 to 18 months. Yeah, that sure. Dead of winter. Again, tons of couple dollar rares. Just tons and tons of them. Um, but that's my point. And I think also later this year, the Modern Horizons 2 is really going to uptick the markets. Oh, Windows Vista coming through. We missed you, little man. Okay, again... We have Force of Negation in Prismatic Vista already. Oh, Wall of Blossoms. That brings back my stronghold childhood, man. Anybody remember the Wrath Cycle stronghold? That's some, you know, when you can pull Windows Vista in a Force of Negation, and we've only got literally, really, another call? I thought we already got that card. <laughs> Urza's Rage. That artwork cracks me up. Another talisman for a couple bucks. Anyways, I just, that's the thing. You know, I've always been a very big fan of this product. I've always shilled and pushed for this product. I've always just... Uh, Deep Force. I love how it had knockoff Urza's cards and things like that. The card, oh, by the way, Llanowar Tribe. Another very, very good uncommon set. That brings back memories. You know, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a special product. You know, I really enjoyed this, and I really, I believe in it. And, you know, I have put my money where my mouth is, and I have bought another talisman. Very nice. Isn't that great when you cannot get a good rare pack? Like, Miss Syndicate's your rare, and you can still get, like, a couple dollar uncommon? Like, that's awesome, man. Like, that is a really... That's a nice feeling. It, it brings, you know, you can't even get that nowadays in newer products usually. That's a really cool thing, man. So, Reaper of the Past. And, of course, another generous gift. A lot of great uncommons, man. Jeez. Reminds me of, uh, like, Modern Masters. Like, the original Modern Masters. And then, like, uh, Eternal Masters. Some of these older sets. Before they did Iconic and the newer Master set. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Tim! Oh, Tim! You just got a foil Windows Vista as your second foil rare. Holy smokes. And Amir and Besiege always confused me on the name. Wow. Oh, my God. Well, if Windows Vista is still like 20 bucks, and remember, this is not a standard set. This does not have the same foil multipliers as a lot of these newer flashy products. The foil, another talisman, the foil multiplier is a lot higher on Modern Horizons and Master Series products. Remember that. So the foils actually have value in these type of products. Plagued Engineer, another couple dollar rare. Another unicorn, very nice. Wow, a Windows Vista for the foil. Dude, that is amazing. It's been a long time since we've seen stuff like that. And the Slumber coming through there. And re look at that. Regrowth, old school, and another talisman. It's amazing uncommons, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand how anyone could not be happy. Like, if Modern was booming, oh my god. The price of this thing would be ridiculous. Look at that. The old Fury Rudy. Very good. It's nice $10 rare land again. So I'm saying Factor Fiction and a Sliver. Very nice in the uncommon slot. Ah, anyways, just it's nice to go back. It's a nice little throwback video here, folks. From God, Lee, we, when were we opening these? Look at this, folks. When were we opening this thing? A year ago? By the way, Seasoned Pyromancer. Still a $20 to $30 Mythic. Phenomenal second mythic hit there. And absolutely very, very cool. Okay. Um, God, when was this? Was it, was it was, did this thing come? This thing came out the end of 2019, right? Yeah, it came out 2019. Not this summer, because it wasn't in the 2020 doomsday year. Yeah, it came out in 2019. That's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, sliver for nice rare. And by the way, another sliver. Look at that. And a talisman. Very cool. Like that pack had like four cards that were like $1 to $2 each. Isn't that amazing? Like, that's so neat, man. I love stuff like that. And Rudy the Bear, not too bad. And another Squirrel Nest, and, oh my goodness, me on Halloween. And by Halloween, I mean pretty much every weekday. No, I was like, didn't this come out in 2019, right? Has it really been that long? Wow, okay, I didn't realize that. I was like, wait a minute. Genesis, another $5 rare, very cool. And a Rudy the Owl, not too bad. I was like, wait a minute, when did this thing actually come out? I was like, actually, I think this thing's going on two years old. Is there a date on the back of this thing? They have a... It says, yeah, 2019. I was like, this was a summer set for 2019, wasn't it? <clears throat> I thought it was. Fallen Shapoopy. Very nice. Another talisman. Yeah, you know, it's just one... This is one of those products that, you know, everybody still printed to oblivion. You know, it's... You know, they keep reprinting it. It's never going to have value. Everything's going to go to nothing. 
little miss drift there. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this is just a good product. And good products can overcome a lot of negativity and a lot of swings in the market and everything. Uh, Kapala Therapist. And I actually think the amount of printing they did on this particular product um, was actually the right thing to do. Because this product was, in my opinion, was so good. Ooh, Sword of Truth and Justice for Mythic number three. Not, not, it's not a Ren and Stimpy, but you know what? We'll take it. Which, by the way, Dr. Ren is still holding, like, I think he's, what, 60 bucks still? He's actually held on quite well. Um, Goblin Engineer for the couple dollar rare. Yeah, it's one of these situations where, um, if Wizards did not continuously print a lot of Modern Horizons, I actually think it would have, it would have been a disaster. No joke, folks. Look, <laughs> Look at the end of the video. Yogmoss Rudy the Doctor. Four rare box. Oh my god. Let me get this straight. So yeah, we didn't hit Ren and Stimpy. Let's do a quick recap here. Four Mythics. Force of Negation. Windows Vista. Foil Windows Vista. Either two or three. Can't remember. On the rare land slot. Phenomenal box opening! This was, I mean, as I said, it's very difficult to crack MH1 boxes and actually not have a good experience. And that's one of the things that makes this product stand out. We don't see that nowadays. Like, you open a new collector box of Commander Legends Collectors, which is like $325 a box, it, which is literally like 50% more than this box, and you could just get hosed if you get bad pulls. Or you could hit a crazy $1,000 Jeweled Lotus. Like, you know, the volatility and the gambler's premium on those products is nutsos. But anyways, let me just give you a little recap, my opinion. Again, uh, Tim, thanks very much, man. For I hope you enjoyed it. Dude, great pulls, man. Dude, that foil Windows Vista just did it for me, man. That got me to level three. That's, that's literally, we're going all the way, folks. Anyways, you know, I look at a product like this. I'm very happy they actually printed a lot of it over the last year. Well, when it was in print, you know. It, it, this all ended like six months ago, and now the market's just been slowly drying up, going through its normal life cycle. And I'm very happy that this was the path of it, because I look at it, and a lot of people are like, oh, Rudy, if they didn't do that, these boxes would be 400 already. Yeah, but you know... I think they made the right decision. This was a perfect balance of a product that wasn't super cheap, but it was, it was, you know, it was a $200 product and then it tanked and then it went back up and, you know, but Wizards raised the price, but it wasn't extreme, like three, $400 master box, you know, and at the same time, they made it readily available for a long period of time and the market was able to accept that much product. The second, look at the value of the secondary market. Are you kidding me? I have never seen... Can you imagine if they had done, like, double masters or ultimate masters with unlimited print run during, like, a year, like this product? The cards would be worthless, you know? <clears throat> Think about that. They did, like, four print runs, maxed this bad boy out, and the market accepted it. And look at the value of the card still. That is flipping incredible. That they could do that for a year, not make it limited, and the value held. That is the sign of a truly epic product. And that's what I see when I see the future. Solid $500 boxes in the future. I'm calling it now.